Good morning, everyone. So, we are eating breakfast right now. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock. We got up super late on accident. We got up. Well, I got I up. on purpose. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't want to get up. I got up at 5.30, and I tried to wake Emily up. And she does one of those things where I'm like, hey, we got to get up. Let's go get up. And then she just like, I know she's awake, but she doesn't respond. And I'm like, let's go, get up. And then I start shaking her. I'm like, Emily, come on. And then she's going, <laughs> And I'm like, whoa, better leave that alone. And then I went back to sleep. And then. It happened a couple times. Yes. It happened that. It actually happened at 5, 5.30, 6. And then I like 6.30. I started waking 30. up at 7.30. That's when I got up. And then I got back in bed and then I went back to sleep for an hour. <laughs> And we walk, Gracie, like we always do. So here's my breakfast. Very simple. I got some Cholula hot sauce in there. It's four whole eggs with one cup of chili lime. Not chili lime rice. Chipotle. No, wait. Cilantro lime <laughs> rice. And Emily has... I'll show my hand. Okay, Emily will show you that. I'm making it. This is what I'm having for breakfast. And this is what I'm having for dessert. I'm kidding. You're so cute. I could never eat you. Right. My toast is ready. Okay, so my breakfast is all over the place right now. I'm having this Publix black cherry Greek yogurt. The It was like the black cherry stuff was in here and you got to flip it. It's pretty good so far. First time I've had it. I have ones that I like better, but it's not. I don't dislike it. Got my coffee and some homemade apple butter that I made in the crock pot a little while back and some sourdough bread that has a big hole in the middle of it. So that's my breakfast. A bunch of carbs. But that's okay because there's protein in here. I think someone wants attention from you. Gracie. What are you asking dad for? For lunch today, we're going to have chicken and broccoli with my special sauce. That sounds it's weird. The, it's, the be <laughs> it's the best sauce ever though. And then we're going to have some rice with it too. I Better kept the chicken broccoli. and the broccoli separate this time, Fuck. so it'll be easier. It. Hey, sorry. So Perf it'll be easier for us to Macro. measure it, Macro it. Yeah. I am on my way to work, but I forgot to vlog. Um, this kind of happened really fast. <laughs> I was trying to decide if I wanted iced coffee or yogurt before I left for work, and so I went with yogurt and then I put some collagen in it and then I decided it would be better to be a protein shake so I <sighs> get out of breath. This has chocolate almond milk. It tastes like dark chocolate. A uh, scoop of chocolate protein, two scoops of collagen and ice and um, Publix white chocolate raspberry indulgent something or another yogurt. That was a mouthful. Yes. Yeah. Pretty good. <clears throat> Alright world. I just dropped in really fat work, so it's my time to go to the gym. Today's kind of like my rest day, active recovery day. So I'm going to just get on the treadmill. I'm going to set the speed to like one, set the incline up a little bit. And my plan is to lunge for 400 meters. And that's basically it. And I'll stretch a little bit. Or if I'm feeling good after the lunging. I'll do a little something extra, but I'll let you guys know. <coughs> We're lunging. This hat's gonna have to come off soon. My speed is at 0 0.8. My incline is at three. I am six minutes and 45 seconds in. Keeping it nice and steady. And 
I'm going until the distance says 0.25 miles. That would be 400 meters. Catch you guys after I'm done. All right, that was that. So we accomplished our 400 meters of walking lunges. I took, I think it was two breaks of like 30 to 45 seconds or so. I kept the incline at three and then the speed consistently at 0 0.8. I tried to do it at one, but I just couldn't get into the rhythm of it. And I found myself ha ha taking those like half steps. Um, so I brought it down to 0 0.8 and kept that pretty steady rest of the way. I think my final time was like 18.25. Uh, as you guys saw on the screen um, today was like a tester of how my left knee would do um, I've been wanting to do those high volume lunges for a while now and I injured my knee a couple years back but it held up fine it feels a little swollen so I'll probably ice it tonight but got the most amazing um, quad pump ever I got inspired to do this listening to a podcast called Business and Biceps and one of the hosts, Corey Gregory, he does 800 meters of walking lunges every single day. I think he's on day 100 something or 200 something, I forget. But hopefully I can work up to 800 meters. I think I can probably get into those next week. I'm gonna just keep it at 400 meters this week. I'll probably do some more tomorrow. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll keep you guys updated on how my knee feels, how my leg feels, how my body feels tonight and tomorrow. Uh, but now I'm going to get home, take a shower, get something to eat, drink plenty of water because as you can see, I sweated quite a bit. But it, it's awesome, guys. If you guys want to give that a shot at your treadmill or just go outside on a track and get that done, please comment below how that feels and we'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, folks, I'm about to try something I've never tried before, which is making homemade pasta from scratch. So rather, right here, we have two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to use one tablespoon of olive oil and we have two whole eggs and then we're going to be using five additional yolks and that's it and a pinch of salt so we try emily and i try to make as many things as possible from scratch here whether that's pasta sauce pizza crust right now noodles uh, any baking goods and so on so you guys are going to come on this journey with me and if you guys have any additional tips for me or what i can do better please comment down below all right here we go so we have two whole eggs and five egg yolks in here and then we have our two cups of all-purpose flour so what i'm going to do is dump this on this clean surface nice. sorry the lighting the angle might not be the greatest but this is the best i could do so i'm going to get all this together and spread it out i'm going to make a well right in the center let me see i think we need to make it a little bigger it's the beginner pasta maker here so don't be too critical all right oh and i don't have one of those like pasta wheel like roller things so we're just gonna have to do it by hand okay now I'm going to whisk this together. I remember one of the videos saying when you're whisking the eggs together, don't whisk it too violently because you don't want too much air in it. So I calm down on my whisking. I'm just gonna mix it all up. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to add a pinch of salt to this flour. So I'm gonna do that now. Yeah. Perfect. Now, I'm going to dump this mixture into the center. There we go. And I'm going to slowly mix in flour and just start mixing it. I heard you have to be pretty patient with this. So you don't make like a leak or anything like that. Just get a little bit of flour in at a time. And then this is a great time to add the one tablespoon of olive oil. So let me do that real quick. Now 
let's get to mixing. A little bit of flour. I'm beginning it with the fork and then I'll incorporate my hands as we get farther into this. Now I saw some recipes with water, some recipes with less eggs and I think everyone makes it a little differently. So this is kind of like our baseline and I'll um, change things up as we go farther into our life of building different recipes. I heard um, after you get this into like a cake better consistency. Ooh, that was pretty gross on the screen there. So we might fast forward through this. All right, it's pretty together. Let me get in there with my hands. Hope nobody calls me. So I'm not gonna be able to get it. Let's do this thing. I'm gonna have one clean hand for now. All right, let's get my other hand into this. All right, just start folding it in. Should've worn my apron. I told Emily she's gonna come home to a very messy kitchen. I right, hear you gotta knit this knead this for about 10 minutes to get to that elastic consistency. I think this is a little dry. So I heard on the video, mix a little bit of water and one more egg together into a bowl and then slowly pour it in until I get the consistency that we are looking for. It's a little powdered right now. So let me get to doing that. All right, here's my other egg with a little bit of water. I'm gonna pour a little in here. mixing it and see if that helped. Oh yeah, that little bit helped out so much. It made this look so much easier on video. So I'm folding the outside into the middle so I can incorporate all of this. Rolling it and then folding the outside towards the middle. And a little more yolk. All right. There we go. I think we finally got the right consistency now. It's not too dry, not too sticky. I had to mess with the yolks and the flour a little bit, but I think we got it. So far, doing pretty well.
Been doing this for about four minutes now, I think. So I'm gonna do it for one more minute. Almost there. Here's our final product. So I heard if you just poke it, yeah, so it's got the elastic feel to it. Those marks are coming back to me. Great. So, it's elastic, it's kneaded very well. So next thing what we're gonna do is, we are going to cover this, I said 30 minutes to an hour. And Emily should be off in about an hour. So, we'll let this sit for an hour at room temperature. All right, that was perfect timing because Emily's just getting off work. So I'm gonna go pick her up while she's finishing up. A little reflection on that before I go. So the original recipe that I saw on the internet said it was six egg yolks and two eggs. And I looked at several other recipes and they were using only two eggs, four yolks, or they had a different combination. So I went in the middle and I did two and five yolks, but I ended up using basically six yolks. Because what happened was, um, when I was, what happened was, I was uh, kneading it and it started like cracking and getting really crumbly and I kept like kneading through that and it was just getting worse. So I kept adding a little more, a little more yolk at a time and I basically used a whole, uh, whole another yolk. So two full eggs, six yolks, which is a lot. Um, and then it got very smooth, very elastic -y. So when I like push down on the finished dough, it will like come rising back to me. So again, I'm going to let that rest for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'll cut it up and roll it out and make it into pasta. So let me go get Emily and then we'll continue that when we get back. All right guys, it is seven o'clock. It's been about 45 minutes since I finished this dough and here it is. I'm going to cut that into, let's see, eight pieces. So it allowed me to roll it out much easier. This is on the back of a cutting board. Because the front has like a little groove on it. But anyways, I'm gonna flour this and then roll it out. And I'll show you guys the product in a minute. Alrighty, I'm going to work with one eighth at a time and this is under ceramic wrap so that it don't dry out. I'm going to roll this out nice and thin. I should be able to see my fingers underneath that roll all right i don't have a traditional roller so i rolled it out by hand it is pretty thin i can see my fingers underneath it and i don't know if you can on the computer and not on the computer in the camera so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold this over like that and like that and i'm going to chop it up into noodles all right my phone is covered in flour but here is how much one eighth Made. I'm gonna put spring a little bit of flour on this so they don't stick together, but hey, they feel pretty good They like they feel like the one that Whole Foods the pre-prepared noodles So I cut it really thin as thin as I could uh, without like mushing them so they can be close to spaghetti as possible But it'll be a lot easier if you have like a pasta like one of those like cranking rolling thing that cuts the noodles for you But yeah, I'm excited to cook these I'm gonna work on the rest of these and then we'll see you guys in a minute so I'm over here frying some toss, some chicken. <laughs> and Kevin. We're done. There you have it. Our homemade pasta. Right. We have eight portions. Time to go to bed. It took a long time. It took like two hours. Good night. Well, from the prepping and like resting and everything like that, it took about two hours. Not bad. A lot of work without the... A lot of work without the handheld, the uh, rolling Turning pasta things. thing. Yep. So the pasta came out really good. I enjoy it <coughs> a lot. And Emily's chicken was amazing. We're about to chow down. I'm gonna add a little bit of this red pepper flakes on my spaghetti. <coughs> We're gonna watch Parks and Rec. Water! Water! All right, everyone, that is it for today. Uh, we cleaned the kitchen. Uh, Emily got some editing done, I think. Oh. Budgeting. Budgeting done. Um, and Gracie got on to go on a walk. 
and here we are going to bed. Oh, oh Sorry. <laughs> um, I forgot to show it, but tonight I also had a tiny bit of eggnog, not even enough to measure it. I just like had like two sips out of the the carton. Oh, because today we did all what we eat in a day. Right. Is yeah, that, that was that was what the vlog was supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> and then I had a Trader Joe's peppermint and chocolate covered Oreo mm -hmm. right before bed. Oh, and we had a couple. We shared a total of four, but we split. And when we eat a Lindor truffle, we split it in half. So we each got a half of each. We had two dark chocolate, a dark chocolate mint, and then a fudge swirl. Fudge swirl is the best. The 60% dark chocolate is pretty good, too, yeah. though. Tomorrow's an exciting day because it's my haircut day. Oh, I've been waiting for this for weeks and just an update from the 400 meter walking lunges my legs are pretty sore and i think tomorrow i'm going to be in a lot of pain but i think i'm going to do it again tomorrow i think it'll help loosen up a little bit but yeah i was going to fast tomorrow but i think i might need coffee more so i might not fast and then i can eat yogurt yogurt before work mm. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.